Hey y'all, so I said I was gonna come back and talk about the cruise, but I haven't heard. It's time to really sit still and talk about it. So I just said I'll check in. Um, I ran around paying bills with my mom. I took her to get some groceries and pay some bills. I uh, I started the day off with that coffee that you guys saw me drinking, and I attempted to study, but um, my church put church up on Facebook, service up on Facebook. So instead of doing what I was doing the whole week on the cruise, I decided that I wanted to play catch up with church and go ahead and, and do it. And the topic is the third part to the season series, um, Seeing the Glory of God. And so I wanted to hear the cap off. So by the time I'm in Bible study, I know what happened at church. And so I'll be ready for Bible study this evening. And then tomorrow, my plan was to listen to, you know, go watch the video for Bible study last week. So I'd be like all caught up. Like, it really wouldn't have made sense to do Bible study first and then church. So I'd been in order. So this evening, when I get home and get some time by myself, I try to do the Bible study and then turn around and in the morning do the church service. And then by the time Thursday hit, I'll be ready. Did you see some nice, pretty yellow bananas? You got me two, right? Yeah, two bananas. Get on in with and that. And two chips for 98 cents. Okay, the chips are yours. Let me look at these bananas, because I want to get in. I want these bananas for dinner. I sent my son to get me some bananas. He didn't give me none. This is a decent banana. But you see, it still got some green on it. Yeah. But it ain't got that much. I can eat it. Now let's pray that I have crackers at home because my daughter said she didn't eat my crackers. You know what the kind of crackers I eat for my uh, stuff, right? Yeah, that's good. That come in that box? Yeah. But anyway, so... um, I thought that was staying stale. I wasn't able to do my Bible study like I said I was doing. And Your change will be up in here. Stick it in my purse. I got my purse right there. And so I'm kind of thrown off. My day was thrown off because I wasn't able to do Bible study <laughs> like I wanted to. So um, then I ran the streets with my mom, like I said, to take her to do some stuff she had to do. Uh, pay some bills and talk to some folks. And I really need to fuss about my insurance. So I'm going to do that when I'm home because I done started driving and I am in a Walmart parking lot. And you know people do not look where they going in the Walmart parking lot because they think they booties are bumpers just like the cars have bumpers. And I be wanting to tell these folks, your booty ain't bumper. Yeah, you got the right of way, but you should be safe too, right? Um, so I'm telling you what I ate. I had a bag of popcorn, two slices of bologna, one slice of bread, and um a handful of chips that's what i've eaten today i know that's not the best food in the world but i wasn't gonna eat anything i came home and my son was making fried bologna sandwich and you know that's one of my kryptonites so i grabbed a half of his sandwich with an extra slice of bologna and ate that with the, with a half a bag of popcorn and some doritos and when i get home preferably the crackers would be there so i have me a cup of coffee a banana and cracker peanut butter situation and then i'll tell you about freaking car insurance and insurance as a whole how about that are we gonna discuss my cruise but that might not come to wednesday thursday all right i'll I hit y'all in a little bit hey y'all so i got all turned around and wasn't didn't make it back to finish the second part of the video you just saw so let me finish it all i want to say is okay so uh uh I didn't think I was gonna have to go out yesterday because I thought yesterday was gonna be my complete stay in the house day. And then my my daughter texted me to let me know that uh, she had track practice. There's no bus to get home from track practice, so I had to go get her. Okay, but the insurance thing. So I got a bill from my insurance, my car insurance provider, and um, it said that I owe. 
sixteen dollars as of the fourth, which was Sunday, right? Saturday. Anyway, I wasn't in town, and that um, ten of the dollars was a late fee, and then uh, six of the dollars was um, other fees. Okay. So I called the lady. I said, okay, I'm, I'm more than willing to pay it. But you know, I paid my whole, my paid my bill for six months. So I don't have a bill due until April 4th. So to get this bill saying I had something due March 4th didn't make no sense to me. And then of that random amount. So I called and I was like, okay, explain my bill. That's, that's what I need to do. I said, I'll pay it after you explain it. And so the lady was like, okay, I got a customer service bill. Cause when I first went in there, I told them I didn't have enough money to make the six months payment. It profits me more to pay everything up front. See, that's how rich people stay rich and get over. It's because when you can't pay the whole thing, they charge you dang near double because you can't pay the whole thing, which I think is so freaking off there. The fact that I can't pay the whole thing at once tells you I need a break and you're gonna charge me double. The finance charges of it all is gonna make it double. I can go into a rant about that all day. We're not gonna do that. So anyway, when I first went in there, my insurance company used to only go by three months or six months. It didn't do month to month. Now it does month to month. The lady told me that when I was in there. I said, okay, we'll go ahead and do it month to month because I was prepared to do it for three months. Not for real prepared, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. And so uh, I said, okay, well, go ahead and do it month to month. I'll pay this month payment and then I'll come back as soon as I can and make the other two payments for the three months. That was only for my own sanity because I could pay it month to month. So, about a week and a half after I made the arrangement, got insurance, I was supposed to be paying it month to month, I got a bill for the whole, the whole insurance, the whole six months. I wasn't prepared financially to pay that. So, I went up there and I talked to the lady again. She was like, oh, my bad, her fault. She entered it in at six months instead of monthly. She changed it. I got charged a $3 service fee for that. Did not know it. She didn't tell me that. You're going to charge me a service fee for your make, for your mistake company. That's what you're going to do. I don't think so. I didn't get that bill. And then she said, so then um, I got a late fee for not paying the three days. She didn't charge me the $3 service fee on that bill. Supposedly, they sent me a bill saying I had a $3 service fee. I never got. So then I got a $10 late fee for not paying the $3 service fee. And they charged me an additional $3 service fee to it to send me out the late fee. So I got a $16 fee, none of which was mine. Now, this is how insurance company and other billing places get you. You don't ask questions, you just pay it. They give you bullshit bills. It was bullshit bill in that. The initial bill that I was supposed to pay that I had a late fee on, I should never have had to pay. Okay, should never have had to pay it. So I got a late fee for a service fee that I shouldn't have had to pay because I didn't have them to change anything. She changed it because she made it. So the of course, of course my phone overheated in the sauna has never freaking happened before. Like ever. So uh, anyway, they told me that I had to pay a bill for a bill for another bill, of which none of the bills was anything I should have had in the first freaking place, right? So, then the lady started to get a little frustrated with me because I kept asking, I said, look, she was like, well, we'll I see you haven't been late on a bill before, so we'll waive it, but this is a one-time thing, it'll never be waived again? I said, no. I don't want it. I'm not asking you for a favor. I'm not asking you to waive anything. I'm saying, how y'all going to find me for something that was y'all fault? Then not send me a bill. Send me a late fee for something that's y'all fault. And then send me a service fee because you had to go out of your way to send me a bill. What the fuck? Like, that don't make no damn sense to me. So... I need I need clarity on it. I need you to tell me exactly that's exactly what it is you, you're trying to do to me. I need you to tell me that's what it is you're trying to do to me. So I'll know that that is what it is you was trying to do to me. And so um the lady 
then she 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 um she gets off the phone right and she comes back because she go talk to her supervisor and she comes back and she was like well yes that's what she that's what she said it was but uh who did you talk to like who made the initial mistake is what she was trying to find out i was like i don't know but i could point her out it's only two women and a man in there it was a woman but i don't know which one it was until i'm looking at them i don't remember their name and so she was like well give me your number let me call you back so she hung up then she called me like right back like she didn't even need to hang up as fast as she called me back and she said um well okay so this is what happened so what i just said she said happened they charged me a three dollar service fee to fix something that they messed up and then they didn't send me a bill they charged me a, uh, a $10 late fee for the $3. And then they charged me another $3 because they had to go out of their way to send me a bill for $13. So if I'm gonna send her a bill for $13, hell, I might as well send her a bill for, for um, 16. Let's make it a nice little old round number. I'm just like, like really, what the fuck? So she, she explained to me that is what happened. But she said all of it was waived. Now, there's a one-time courtesy. It was waived because it was they fuck up. Not, oh my God, if she's late in seven months, well, we can't do anything about it because we already extended you that one-time courtesy because you already shown yourself to be a person that pays late. No, the fuck I ain't. So, that's the end of the conversation. Took me two days to tell y'all that. <laughs> And I'll hit y'all later because I'm finna uh I'm finna get ready to go and have me a massage. And maybe I'll come back later on for today and talk to y'all about that. I don't know. Love you guys. Bye.